Hey everyone, my name is Chloe and welcome to day 10 of Vlogmas. So if you have not seen one of these videos, what this is, um, is at the beginning of the year, I asked my mom to wrap up 24 books for me to unbox or unwrap for you on camera, one every day. So this is gonna be a little bit of a book haul, I guess. I mean, a one book haul. So kind of a book review, kind of a vlog, kind of a flashback. And these are so fun for like me uh, and hopefully you, um, just to kind of see where we are. So today is June 11th, which means my baby is turning two tomorrow. And I, if you can hear her in the background, uh, she is just like, she's totally two. She is not a baby anymore and it's just hard to, hard to grasp, but, it has been a rough couple of weeks. We've had a lot of sicknesses go through our house. And then also um, my oldest has an ear infection from swimming and all of that. So summer is here. Um, we are actually leaving town tomorrow for a little um, trip back to the town we used to live in. So it's really chaotic. Life is very chaotic right now, but tis the season. I feel like summer is chaos. And so we're going to do um, tomorrow a little like birthday morning and then try to do car naps. Um, my youngest will nap in the car. My oldest will not. So <sighs> pray for us because it's kind of a road trip. So um, yeah, that's really what's going on with life. I am 21 weeks pregnant. Um, we just had our anatomy scan and baby is good. So that feels really, really good. My anxiety has been through the roof with this pregnancy just because we had a miscarriage right before. And so, um, now seeing that anatomy scan that everything checks out great, baby's looking good. That feels really good. Um, we do plan to do a gender reveal at some point. Jeremy and I know the gender, but nobody else does. So that's really exciting. Um, yeah, that's really everything going on in life. It is a fun time, but a busy time and, I'm really ready to get like the cold and nasty out of our house. Like I feel like colds and stuff, summer colds have been going around and we just all can't shake it. We're all just like nasally and kind of coffee. And then my daughter has the ear infection and it's just kind of a mess. So that's kind of a long update, but let's just get into this. So I've been letting my daughter pick, um, which book, like which book I unwrap. And she said last time she picked the biggest and it was the bind. Well, not last time, two times ago, she picked the biggest and it was the bind up of Billy and me and always with love, which you will have seen or I'll link somewhere. Um, this time she said, mom, can I pick another big, big one? And I said, no, no, sweet pea, you cannot. So she picked a really, um, relatively small one. So feels like a paperback. Let's just check it out. Okay, I see black and gray. I'm wondering if this is Lucinda Berry because I've never read her and I told my mom I really want to. So I wonder if this is Lucinda Berry. Let's see. Yes, Saving Noah by Lucinda Berry. So this is one that I've heard a lot about and I can't remember exactly what, but we forgive murderers, not pedophiles. Um, not since Lionel Shriver brought us, we need to talk about Kevin has a writer delved into the complexities of a disturbed mother son relationship until now meet Noah, an a honor roll student, award-winning swimmer, small town star destined for greatness. There weren't any signs that something was wrong until the day he confesses to molesting little girls during swim team practice. Um, he's sentenced to 18 months in juvenile sexual rehabilitation center. His mom, his mom, Adrienne refuses to turn her back on him despite his horrific crimes, but her husband won't allow Noah back into their home. In a series of shocking and shattering revelations, Adrienne is forced to make the hardest decision of her life. Just how far will she go to protect her son? So I love books with this trope of like, what will a mom do to protect her kid? Um, this one I could see being very like hard, um, just like almost like a Jodi Pico book where you're like, what would I do? You know, like obviously morality would have to win. Like if your son did that, I, I would think, I mean, not reading the book, it seems pretty cut and dry. Like he needs to do his time. Um, but as a mom, it's interesting to read some of these books and think, what would you do for your kid? So I am really excited to read this good choice, mom. This is maybe a five-star prediction, which I don't put that lightly. So very excited. I will let you know. Um, it's pretty short too. It's, oh, it's 250 pages, super short. So I don't know if I'll update you as I read it, but I will for sure be back and let you know what I think. Hey everyone. So, um, it is like not far later, which I feel like pat on my back because I read this book really quick and it was so good. So 
Saving Noah. I don't remember what I said about it, um, but it's a book about a young boy. He's like a teenager, 17, whatever. I don't even know how old he is. And he is a great swimmer. And so he starts teaching, I think, swim lessons um, in the summer. And he gets arrested for molesting some little girls that he is like teaching. And so then he goes to jail and the book is told primarily from his mother's point of view of him getting out of jail and the experience after. And I, so this book was told mostly, like I said, present day from the mother's point of view. And then we also get bits from Noah's perspective, like it, while he was in jail basically. So this book was so good. Like you hear a lot of hype about it. I really had not many expect, like I had high expectations because I've heard so many good things, but I didn't know anything about it. And I think that's the best way to go into it. But I finished it last night, yesterday afternoon, actually during nap. And I was like in pain. <laughs> like it was one of those books. I had my daughter sleeping. She was sleeping next to me because it was nap time. And like, I didn't want to like full on ugly cry. And like, I didn't really, I don't know if I could have, I probably could have if I was by myself, but like, it like hurt me. <laughs> um, it was so good. And like, I guess you call this a thriller because it's about like messed up things happening and it's not graphic. So if you guys are worried about like graphic content about what he did to these little girls, it's not graphic. And I really appreciate that. And I know that some other people that have read this and loved this felt like almost an empathy for Noah. Um, because you do get in his head and you know what's going on in his head. And I can totally see where people are coming from that. Um, I personally didn't really feel that, but I did feel so much empathy for the mother. And this book talks a lot about like, what would you do for your kids? Like, and do we always know what's best for our kids? And Oh, it was just so good. I don't want to say anything else because I don't want to ruin anything because I did not see, like, I didn't know what was about to happen in this book. And it's still like, it's the next day. And I still like feel really heavy even talking about it. And so, um, major trigger warnings. I'm not going to tell you what they are because I feel like that would be spoilery, but if you, um, are really triggered by some things, definitely look it up. So, um, I haven't rated this yet. Probably like a four and a half star, maybe five. I don't know. It wasn't, I don't know. Like a book to emotionally impact me in that way means it was good. And it was short. It was quick. Like I read it all, I think yesterday. So it was so good. It was so good. I definitely will be reading more from Lucinda Berry. Although I don't know if this one's typical of hers. Um, because I wouldn't say it was like heavy in the thrills, but yeah, I don't know. Um, so now I, it's Monday, um, and I am going to the endocrinologist because that's a thing. And while I'm pregnant, they want to monitor like all the time. So going to the endocrinologist, the girls are with a babysitter and it's a Monday, like it is a Monday. So I'm really grateful for our babysitter, um, because everybody woke up early. Everybody's kind of grouchy. So it's a good day. Um, I just went to the library and picked up a couple things. And so um, that feels good. And I'm just so envious of all the like thousand people that are here right now. I'm exaggerating, there's not a thousand people, but like who is at the library at nine o'clock on a Monday by themselves just hanging out? I wanna be them. Um, and today I am, but I have to go to my appointment. So that's what's going on with life. Um, 22 weeks pregnant, uh, girls are doing good. They're four and two. Everybody's good. Got the chiropractor later later today. So it's a crazy life we live. We are also going through like a really, really hot spell. And you can see I'm wearing a like light jacket right now because it's actually a cold front today. It's only gonna be 91 and right now it's only 82, um, but it's breezy. And I'm going into the doctor and you know how doctors are always freezing. So I wore this just in case. So this person is leaving. They just got in their car and like left and I continued to vlog. So again, pat on the back because normally that freaks me out and it does, I mean, it still kind of embarrasses me, but so it goes. So that is it for this Saving Noah vlog. Um, it was so good. Definitely recommend. If you've read it, let me know. And let me know if you empathized more with Noah or the mom or both. Um, Cause I could definitely see, like, I think 
I don't know. I just feel like mom of two young girls and being pregnant, I feel like I just have so much mama bear going on right now that like I I, I could see where people would feel empathetic for Noah, but I'm still like, ugh, yikes. Um, I have a hard time with that, but the mom broke me. So let me know what you think and we'll talk to you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.